just so different, you know, uh, from an NBA season, you know, 82 games, uh, best of seven series, 48 minute games. All that goes out the window, and that's the, the, the biggest challenge in coaching the games. You really have to get that across, but the guys have to feel it too. It's 40 minutes, um, game goes quickly, uh, the officiating's different, the rules are different. So you got to adapt as quickly as possible, learn all that, absorb it all. But then in the end, it's, it's 40 minutes of pressure, constant uh, force at both ends of the floor. And um, you know, that's where our advantage lies athletically. But if you ease into a game like we did last night uh, and a team starts carving you up, um, and that's where they get their confidence. So I think our guys understand now that you know, there's a reason we do five exhibition games. There's a reason we time it up you know, the way we do. Sean Ford does an incredible job with all this. I think our guys are right where they need to be. Good awareness of what it's going to take. And now we got to go do it. How would you characterize the mood when you guys met? Was it angry? Was it the had guys moved on? Like what was? Uh, what is the feeling right now? Alert. And attentive and um, ready for, for what's coming. How different? Montenegro and Lithuania, for all intents and purposes, play a similar game. How different is Italy compared to those two teams? How different is Italy compared to those two teams? Uh, Italy's a lot different. They're um, more uh, off ball movements, um, very patterned team. They run a lot of really good stuff play well together as a five-man unit, uh, so more, like when they throw the ball into the post, it's not to score like Valanciunas and Vucevic, uh, it's more to run split cuts and gaggles and a lot of movement and, and misdirection and stuff, so it's a, it's a very different style and um, they're really good, so we're going to have to be ready. You said, we were talking to you last night and someone brought up uh, playing two weeks together. Uh -huh. You mentioned that that didn't work. You guys, knowing that you're just going to have have problems against teams that rebound, do you need to lean in to your strength of being a smaller team, and that's how you? Well, I think we we need to lean into our strength in being a forceful athletic team, whatever that means. Um, so it's not necessarily the lineup as it is the mindset um, at both ends, you know. And there's certain keys that we've shown our guys. Um, where we can get in better rebounding position, both ends of the floor. Uh, you know, you just can't have the four or five plays where guys are ball watching as the shot goes up instead of turning and finding. Um, so some of it is just, you know, every play matters, but each detail that we take it to, you know, take care of, if we change the possession, now our speed takes over, right? So that's. That's what we have to, to recognize. Not so much what our lineup is, it's how attentive and alert and aggressive all five guys are. You've dealt, you've dealt with a couple of these over the last few years. What's your experience when, when, this, when this program comes off a loss? What is the typical response and what is the appropriate response? Uh, I think every, every player who plays for USA Basketball have to recognize you know, what they're up against and it's not enough um, for us to just tell them they got feeling and um, I think they've felt it the last couple games and so the other thing is we're, we're down to the last week you know um, six days till gold medal game we've been at this for five weeks um, so you know the stretch run is here we got a lot of knowledge that we've accumulated uh, we got to put it to use, but I think the, the response is generally one where there's a little more edge, there's a little more appropriate fear, as Bob likes to say, and, and uh, that's that's what's needed. You guys uh, seem to try every coverage yesterday. You switched one through four and dropped Jerry and then Paolo, uh, but uh, they seem to still find open gaps. You tried switching everything in the second half, but they 
took advantage of the size disadvantages in the back line. So is it just really a matter of doing those coverages better, like sending help much quicker, rotating better, or is it like trying something new? It's just just um, the, the details within, you know. Um, sometimes you, you also have to just give the opposing team credit. You know, they made some impossible threes in the second half. You know, our coverage was good. Um, they made shots. You know, they're, they're a great team. So um, it's the details within that you try to take care of. And um, if you're more on point early in the game um, and not blowing coverages, uh, those threes become a lot tougher to hit. I know, you know, as a uh, former shooter, like if I get a couple of easy ones early, that just makes the whole game for me. Now I'm in rhythm. But if I have somebody smothering me from the beginning and my first two shots are difficult, all the rest are, are tough. You know? So it's, it's got to be a mindset shift from the beginning, regardless of the scheme. Thanks, everyone. Appreciate it. Thank you, Steve.